Ms. Ran, do you believe that we could trace, or, or can you trace the history, the beginnings, the roots of altruism? Actually not, because in one form or another it's the oldest ethical system in history. Uh, in Western civilization, perhaps the uh, greatest or earliest exponent of it is, of course, Plato. But even then his roots can be traced, because he did not uh, originate uh, all of his philosophical system, nor his morality. He borrowed it from the Orphic sects, which are, were Oriental sects at the time, and the Pythagoreans, which were preaching a form of Oriental mysticism, altruism, self-denial. The earliest uh, roots of altruism will be found in the Oriental philosophies. But as far back as you can trace historically one form or another of the idea that man must be sacrificed to others uh, has existed as far as recorded history. Now, either man was to be sacrificed to the gods, and in the early civilizations they literally pre uh, practiced human sacrifice, or as they be uh, began to develop a little, man was to be sacrificed to the state, and today you see human sacrifices again, though they are not labeled that. But you see wholesale slaughter of human beings and enslavement on the ground of sacrifice to society, to the collective, to anything. You have a united front of the dogma of self-sacrifice, united against the idea which has appeared uh, ever so often uh, through the uh, philosophical history of mankind, but not in very clear-cut form. The idea that man does have a right to exist for his own sake, and that he is not a sacrificial animal to be sacrificed for the purposes or the welfare of others. That is what the united past history of mankind uh, has left us with, and it is this trend which today has run its course, which has reached its bloody climax, and now we have a chance to start from scratch uh, on a better kind of tradition. The greatest example historically of the right moral philosophy was the creation of the United States of America, because implicitly, Im uh, if not explicitly, the American political system is based on a man, an individual's right to the pursuit of his own happiness, on the idea that man has an inalienable right to his own life, to his liberty, and to the pursuit of his own happiness. It was a political theory which lacked a developed philosophical system of ethics. That is why it came in conflict with the ethics of altruism in our time. But implicitly, what the, philo the political philosopher of the Founding Fathers uh, needed was an ethical base, which is what objectivism will provide it with. D doesn't this answer indicate that uh, man being rational and using his reason is a new idea and a new way, since all of this past history does show this, this altruism and this collectivism? and that only, only in modern sense do we see this beginning of the use of reason and the use of the individual. Well, not if you put it in those terms, because uh, the, the intellectual development preceding uh, the establishment of the United States was dominated by the idea of man as a rational being, of the necessity of man using his mind. Uh, but you see, they were concerned primarily with the political implications of that idea, and nobody of that period had provided the idea of human rights with an ethic to support it philosophically. However, by implication, the idea was there. The United States Constitution is a strictly Aristotelian document. That is, it's based on an Aristotelian influence, an Aristotelian view of men via John Locke, who was a philosopher with very mixed premises, with many faults, but in politics, he was, in effect, the transmission belt between Aristotle and the Founding Fathers. And he provided the idea of a society based on the concept of man as a free, rational being. The implication that man should think, should be rational, was there in the entire Aristotelian influence uh, of the uh, 17th, 18th century the result of which led to the American Revolution in the Constitution. Uh, but um, 
What was needed was an explicit statement. Uh, an implicit understanding was not sufficient. 